Hi everyone, this is example 7 on orifices, tubes, and weirs under steady flow. The orifice in the figure shown is 15 mm in diameter and is sharp edge with coefficient of contraction 0.63 and coefficient of velocity 0.97. The diameter of the pipe is 150 mm. The liquid is water and stands at a height h of 2.9 meters in the bisometer. Compute the discharge, the diameter of the jet, mean velocity in the jet, and the lost head. So this is the given figure. So for the first question, Q equals Kaotog. And C is the product of C sub C and C sub V. While H is velocity head at 1 plus small h, downstream head is just 0 because the jet is exposed to the atmosphere. So V1 square over 2G plus small h minus 0. So let's check if velocity head at 1 is really considerable. So V1 is 4Q over pi diameter of pipe square. So area 1 over area O is pipe radius of the pipe 75 square over pi radius of the orifice 25 square. So it is 9 less than 16, remember. So therefore, the velocity head at 1 must be considered or included. So this should be the head. Where V1 is 4Q over pi times diameter of pipe square, so 56.59Q, square divided by 19.62, so velocity head 1 is 163.2Q square. Then substitute into the formula Q equals 0.63 times 0.97, pi 0 0.025 square, square root of 19.62 times quantity 163.2 q square plus 2.9. So q divided by quantity 0 0.63.97 times 5.025 square times square root of 19.62 is 188.15 q. Then we square so that the radical is extracted or we just have 163.2 Q squared plus 2.9 in the right side. Then solving for Q, the only unknown, Q is 0 0.009072 cubic meter per second, or in liters per second, 9.072 liters per second. For the second question, the diameter of the jet, so coefficient of contraction is area at the jet, divided by area of orifice, so we will not include pi over 4 anymore. Anyway, it will be cancelled. So 0.63 equals diameter of jet square over 50 mm square. So the diameter of the jet is equal to 39.69 mm. Then mean velocity in the jet, that is C sub V square root of 2GH. And H is 163.2 Q square plus 2.9. So V is 0.97 square root of 19.62 times H, which is 163.2 times Q square, 0 0.009072 square plus 2.9. So the mean velocity in the jet is 7.34 meters per second. And finally, the lost head is head lost head quantity 1 minus C sub V square. Where H is 163.2 times 0 0.009072 square plus 2.9. So H is 2.913 meters. So finally, substitute head loss is 2.9131 minus 0.97 square. So the head loss is 0.1722 meters. So what if the analysis is we ignore the velocity head at 1. Then, is there a big discrepancy in the answers? For some, maybe Q, but the correct analysis is we should consider the velocity head at 1 because the ratio of area at 1 to that of the orifice is only 9. And remember that we only ignore velocity head in the approach pipe or in the reservoir at particle 1, when the area is greater than 16 times area of the orifice. So that's it for this problem.